baby. Come on. Mix one Come on. <laughs> This Gavin DeGraw. What's up, fellas? We don't even have to, you know. How you guys feeling? We're good. feeling good. How you doing? I'm great, man. Especially now that I walked up here, I saw the Patriots helmet sitting on your table. How you feeling about that? Yeah, how are you about feeling that? about that? Yeah, me too. I was wanting to see that happen. Oh, my God. But I got to tell you, I was sitting on the couch. I was watching the game with my dad and uh, watching the whole first half. And we are like, oh, no. Oh, sad. What's going on, Gary. man? Yeah, well, you never felt like, thought. felt like nothing yeah. was going right. Uh, it you was, know? It was total dejection, man. Oh, man just watching it. Yeah. I, I, I had my head in my hands by, by the time halftime came around. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm grabbing a couple beers out of the refrigerator. I come back, and all of a sudden, I felt like maybe they were drinking with me <laughs> at halftime because <laughs> everything insane. suddenly started clicking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, oh my yeah, God. man. It was awesome. It was amazing. I, I, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, nobody has. Never it, seen anything like The best game in NFL history. It was unbelievable. To come back from that and. The stuff that they needed, they needed two touchdowns, a couple of two-point conversions, it was, which isn't easy. It, I mean, was, it was crazy, man. Insane. I texted I was texting Kevin Euclid because I knew he was over at the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I oh, said, hey, right. man, I've never seen a game like this in my whole life. Ever. You're this friendly with, with Kevin Euclid, who's married to one of Tom Brady's sisters. That's exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. I said, this is unbelievable, man. We were freaking out. Me and my dad were high-fiving. It was wacko. It was, oh, it was you wacko. Know. It was I live wacko. in a building in the city of Austin. Yeah. You could hear my whole building screaming. Shaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> screaming. It was insane. And then two, awesome. days, two days after the victory, it's snowing, sleeting, and raining in yeah. Boston, and over a million people came on the parade route to, to go and wow. hang with them. Unreal, man. It's, un a, it's unbelievable, yeah. man. It, it was... It was Literally sensational. My father, I went over to the house the next day. I said, hey, what's going on? He yeah. goes, you're not going to believe this, but I actually woke up a couple times in the middle of the night <laughs> thinking about the game. <laughs> I couldn't believe how good the game was. Well, here's the thing. You know? Had they lost, I wouldn't have been able to sleep, you know, oh. just because it would, it would have been so miserable. Oh, so, yeah, yeah just, just you know horrible. What? It was nice to see somebody, you know, it's nice to have this generation's a hero for the new generation. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady, baby. He, he really, he, he became... He became a legend. Oh, oh yeah, no doubt. He right, became let me ask you a, a legend during that game. Greatest quarterback of all time? It would have to be Tom Brady. Perfect. I mean, how, I mean, I mean how, you, how are you going to debate that? I mean, how, how do you even debate that? You now can't. You can't. We're chatting with uh, Gavin DeGraw backstage at the Grammy. So. You've you've been through this. You've been yes. nominated for a Grammy. A couple yes. of years ago, you nominated. Yes. So let me ask you a question. Me and so, Colby Calais. Colby Calais. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're there. Yes. You're at the awards show. You're sitting there. Take us through what goes through your mind. I mean, you're hanging there with all all the famous people. You're a famous person. I mean, what's it what's it like? Um. Well, it's uh, intimidating. <laughs> like must be. It's intimidating because you know you know there's there's going to be a lot of people in the place that are more famous than you you are or you're ever going to be. Right. <laughs> Um, and you're always thinking to yourself, every time you walk a red carpet, you're thinking the same thing. And what you're thinking is, what, what? is my fly zipped? Ah. <laughs> is my fly zipped? Right. And never, you may even do a couple, you know, you feel? Do you a check? couple of grabs. Well, well you got to. You, you know, never be kind of breezy. You do. You do a couple grabs, you and then the picture sure. they end up posting makes it look like you're in a hip-hop video. <laughs> <laughs> because you're doing your grabs. Oh, that's hysterical. Just to make sure, you know. Ode to Michael Jackson. Yeah, 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 exa yeah. exactly. So, you know, you got to do that when you walk in the carpet. You're a little freaked out. You, of course, you always know when you walk in the carpet, no matter how good you think you looked that night, yeah. in a couple of years, when you look back at the picture, you're going to think what you're wearing looked Id idiotic. <laughs> so, you did I mean? yeah. yeah, you go too high fast and it does come back to bite you. Exactly. You know, I think Rob Lowe said it best. He said, life in the public eye is a series of bad hairdos. <laughs> so, that's, that's awesome. You know what that I mean? is awesome. So, so I think that really applies at any point, every time you know someone's going to be taking a picture or on video or whatever. You're always going to regret something about it. So oh, you tell them about you it. You didn't... Uh, <laughs> like this interview right now. Oh no, 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 no. I thought I was going to get old and ugly and still be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, faces for radio. That's right. why we got in it. Yeah, right, right, exactly, right. So, um, yeah, you didn't win that night, and right, when, that's fine. When they, when you didn't win, that's fine. Were you like sigh of relief, or I mean, were you like, damn? I mean, Son what did you? A... Yeah. Well, I don't like speaking in public, so I was like, all right, yeah, all right, I didn't win. Oh, I don't thank have to go God. <laughs> yeah. All right, exactly. Gavin DeGraw, we appreciate you. Your family, we we love you in Boston. We love love you, you come by the man. station. Oh, we, do, man. we play everything that Gavin comes out with. The new Thanks, tune is called man. "Making Love with the Radio On." Yes. And. When I first heard that song, the first thing that came to mind is like, Gavin could have been making love while Fred and I were in on the, the radio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. That's true. I'm so sorry. This never happened. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just> saying. <laughs> and, and I'm like, wow, I'll have to ask him if that's ever happened. No, no, no God, no. You know, the irony is that I'm not, I can't, although I love the, I love the song, the content of the song, to make love with the radio on for me. Yeah. 
I'd end up getting a little bit interrupted <laughs> got caught with up. the content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, start worrying about, you know, am I in tempo? <laughs> and then I may think, oh, you know, maybe I don't like a lyric I hear somewhere <laughs> along the <laughs> line. You know, I'm like, you know, I should re rewrote that. You know, that right. would never And then, God forbid, they sense. go into commercials. It's all over. <laughs> exactly, yeah. you know? Ex exactly. Come out, like, so the whole thing could be ruined. <laughs> somewhere in there. One, eight, seven, seven, seven cars yeah, yeah. for kids. Well, exactly. The, the, the vibe is totally gone. You completely ruined the whole event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just glad yeah. you're shouting out radio on your new track. Hey, Absolutely. Man. Thank you for that. That's what it's all about, man. Exactly. I mean, you guys have been good to me since the very beginning. Absolutely. I never forget, I came into your... I came, when I first came... Came in, you guys started playing my stuff, man. You've been with From me the whole one. time, man. Yeah, Since day one. Day yeah, one, yeah, man. yeah. You said I'm gonna break your record. I never forgot that, man. Boom. Changed, changed my world. Changed, and you know you're welcome my world. anytime. Anytime you can Thank do it in Boston, that. you pop Thank in and hang out. Thanks for that. Man. Gavin DeGraw, backstage, 59th lot, annual man. Grammy yeah. Awards. It's good to be here, baby. Yeah. See you guys later. Yeah. Hey, congrats, Boston. Make it love with the radio on. That's right. Yeah.